talk to this kid. You know what's kind of funny? This guy, mm. this guy looks a lot like the dude who owns my neighborhood bar. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Right down to the facial hairstyle and the cigar. Oh, oh, real nice. Neighborhood bar is owned by Honky Tonk Man. Sadly, no, but. But no, I'm serious. It's kind, it's kind of eerie how much he looks like him, actually. Although my. The guy in my neighborhood doesn't have what appears to be a sword strapped to his back. Mr. Delilah looks small and tough, with an untraceable. Sh oh, shotgun! With an untraceable shoddy on his back and a heavy vest under his trench coat. He's got the air of someone who gets things done and occasionally does them himself. He might be an ex runner, one of the rare ones smart enough to move over to management when he felt his reflexes slowing down. What do you want? Mr. Delilah? We have business to discuss. What business? Got no business with you. We're with Coyote. She's indisposed at the moment. At the mention of Coyote, he finally gives you his full attention. Why didn't you say so? Coyote is late and my client is getting anxious. Where is she? She's downstairs in the med bay. Got her arm torn off on the job. Let's not beat around the bush. No kidding! Hmm. Well, whatever. She's tough. She'll pull through. So who are you two? Eh, she'll, she'll just walk it off. Flandry. He's Paco. Great, we're all introduced. Now, give me my stones. I can give him all the stones, hold back the best stone and give him the rest, or hold, the hold back the pebble with the runes on it and give him the rest. Hmm. There's a pebble with runes on it. All oh. interesting. Would he notice it? I feel it? like he's most interested in that pebble with the runes. Probably. Although, he's most interested in that, in the pebble. But or, or I said, his, maybe his buyer is interested in the pebble with, with the runes. As far as he knows, it might just be gems. True. You know? Let's, let's, let's try to keep the pebble with the runes on it. In an instant, there's a jeweler's scope on his eye. Moving quickly through what appears to be the most valuable stones, he stops when he can't find what he's looking for. Oh, shit. He glares at you, furious, and throws the rest of the gems in your face. It's not here! What? What? He exhales and slowly wags his head as he speaks. Let me explain the world works to you. I hire someone to do a job, they do it. Then they get paid and we part happy. Now, you have something that I paid Coyote to get for me. That makes it mine. So you give me the pebble and we won't make any more work for Johnny Clean. See, maybe if you told me more about the pebble it might jog my memory. Double the fee and the pebble is yours. Or was there another stone, like a pebble, some sort of letters? I forgot, here you go. What should we do? I'm not going to just give it to him. I mean, we've... The die is cast now. <laughs> um... You could at least ask him about it. Okay. Okay. I'm smart enough not to ask my clients why they want... get what they want. I just arrange for them to get it. Now hand it over. Oh, we, oh, we don't have... We only have the option of hand over the pebble. Coyote may not have told you, but the penalty for being the late with the delivery was no payment. But I'm feeling magnanimous tonight, so you guys can keep the gems I threw in your damn face. Mr. Delilah looks you up and down, takes you all in, smiles to himself. Listen, you look like the sort of man who might run a crew of your own one day. Might need a little talent. When that happens, you come to me. I'll set you up. He dismisses you with a wave. Looks like you impressed him. I know offense for those gems. Van Grass, follow me. Oh, cool. Maybe we can maybe we can still get to salvage something from the gems. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see what he has to say. We're done for now. Buzz. Man, Roger at the bar is a lot nicer than this dude. I have to say. Then, then again, I've never tried to trick Roger out of some ma out of magical gems he was looking for. So, Let's see what Van Grass has to say. Van Grass is fiddling with his cyber eye while noodling on his PDA. Oh, if only I had Charisma 3, I could I could see you're a busy man. We have some pretty things to sell. We want to see them. I have a fondness for pretty things. Let me see. 
Um, you hear the servos in Van, Van Gross's cyber eye were as a magnifying lens slips into position. He bends his head over the stones for two seconds, maybe less. Where'd you get this dreck? A gumball machine? I'll give you a thousand for him. Sounds good. Pay me. I'll think about it. Or, if I have Charisma 5, I thought you said you were a busy man. Strength 6, look into my eyes, Van Grass. Or, etiquette, <laughs> academic. Do the software in your HUD appraise the value of the stones? Hmm, all of interesting possibilities. I'll think about it. Suit yourself. I should have... I was thinking about boosting my Charisma. I should have done it... I've got this karma. I should have done it before I talked to him. Damn it. You've got nine. I've got nine... Yeah, I've got nine karma. Hmm. What's your charisma at now? Because if you have enough to get a neck... A it must only be two. Get... It's only two. I'm not boosting it up to five just to get... No, you could just go to four and get the etiquette for academia. Oh, that's that's true. That's true. But I'm not sure how many other places I'd have to use that. Hmm. That's a good thought, though. I'm just going to save in case I end up doing something with my with my character experience points that I end up that turns out to be really stupid in retrospect. <laughs> I don't recall a lot of opportunities to use academic etiquette, so I don't know if I really want to to spend my second etiquette on that. What do I currently have? Shadowrunner. Okay, just Shadowrunner. Hmm. Hmm. I think I will boost my charisma to four to get a new et because there's a number of like skill challenges for charisma, and four is often what is often, it's like a common number that you need. Hmm. So I don't think I'm going to be getting any more charisma than that. But all right, corporate, security, gang, socialite, street, academic. I don't know if security will help you anymore. I mean, you had a bunch of chances to use it. Yeah, I wonder if. Yeah, I'm wondering if that sort of if its time has come and gone. You know what? The, what the hell? Let's go with academic. See where it takes us. Apparently, we're like we're we're a really educated gun for hire, I guess. You gotta do something on the plane rides. That's true. Oh, I didn't know that. If, if you have throwing weapons at five, grenade use only takes one AP. Oh, wow, trolls can have a, a have throwing weapons up to 15. Well, it's because it's a strength-based skill. Whereas humans and elves, their maximum is 9. I'll hang on to these other two karma for now. All right. All right, Mr. Van Grass. In the in the couple of seconds we've been away, I've gained a great deal of I've learned a great deal. Oh, I don't have that option. Oh, okay. I guess they've got it kind of set up so you can't really 
can't you can't really cheat the system the way I just tried to do. It's true. You want to go back? Ready to unload those stones? Yes. All right. Still, a thousand million isn't bad, by any means. Oops. So you gonna reload or? Shut up. Now nah, let's. Now nah, we'll t we'll take the consequences. <laughs> Full life consequences. There are. There's. There's no taxis backsies on the mean streets of 2050 Seattle, Nick. Let's let's, ta let's talk to Sarah Castle some more, Doctor Carol Sarah Castle. In Shadowrunner circles, the term doctor is often quite used quite liberally to describe any sawbones with a needle and thread. But in the case of the Union's medical resident medical expert, nothing could be further from the truth. The safe house boasts a fully equipped medical suite, complete with shamanic fetishes. This is six world medicine of the highest caliber. Yeah, I mean, you know, they got like, you know, heal you know, healing magic and whatnot, so might as well use it. The doctor herself is an unassuming sort, perhaps the type to go unnoticed on entirely, if not for the sprightly spirit preached up perched on her shoulder like her own personal gargoyle. The spirit's burning eyes follow you constantly, even as the doctor's own eyes are buried in her charts. However, she does look up long enough to acknowledge your approach. I'm Dr. Castle. I understand you're instrumental in bringing Coyote back to us. Thank you for that. I suppose you were the one who patched her up. Impressive work. Thank you. It's a shame she wouldn't let me repair her face, though. She notes you eyeballing the facilities. I can tell you're surprised to find a full-service med bay under a dive bar in a slum. Don't be. This is a Shadowrunner bar, after all. And a hub area for the game, so... <laughs> oh, she doesn't. For a purveyor of cyberware and trauma kits, there is no better place to set up a practice. I patch runners up, install and maintain their cyberware, and provide medical supplies for their runs. I may not be as mobile as Doc Wagon, but I'm the next best thing. Can I help you with anything? Hmm. Tell me more about trauma kits. Trauma kits are fully automated stabilization units that include a defibrillator, spray on synthetic skin, and medical nano machines. They can save a runner's life if you move fast enough. So if if you are bleeding out, one of those can get you back on your feet? Exactly, but you have to be quick. This is Doc Wagon's old field tech, but even their stuff has its limits. I see shamanic fetishes. You a shaman too? No, I'm just a pervert. No. While modern medical technology makes surgery less disruptive than it used to be, it's still an ordeal for both the body and spirit, requiring extensive recuperation to properly heal. I am trained in the ways of the spirit world as well as the scientific world. I do my best to heal the whole patient. What's that on your shoulder? This little guy supports the healing rituals I perform on my patients after surgery, dramatically reducing their recovery time. Not standard procedure, of course, but the results speak for themselves. What cyberware do you have available? Ah! Okay, now here we can start... This is the screen where we have bot... We can start having pieces of our body chopped off and replaced with machines. Excellent. <clears throat> now, remember what I said about essence? No. Everyone starts off with six essence. And you lose... Having cyberware and... Having parts of your, you know... Your flesh and blood body replaced with, with cyberware costs essence, basically. Now, low essence is bad if you're a magic user, because you, you need hot, better essence means you're better at using magic. I believe I don't think they really use that mechanic in this game, but I believe in some versions of Shadowrun, lower essence also makes you benefit less from uh, he magic healing, presumably because there's less you know living parts of you to actually heal, and you can't go you can't have go down to to, to zero essence. All right, now data jack I already have. As technology, cyber leg, basic. Basic yet powerful metal machine replacement for your legs. Add plus, plus 8 HP and plus 1 quickness. 2,000 million, 2 essence cost. Shiawasi bone lacing, plastic. Shiawati's process covers your bones with hard plastic. Adds plus 1 body. Essence cost, 2. That's right. Uh, Ares dermal plating, basic. Ares dermal ar armor plating adds plus 2 armor. Vision magnification eyes, basic. Renreku's basic cyber eye replacement extends and enhances your vision. Adds plus three to hit. Silver tech cyber arm, basic. Silver technology's basic replacement limbs that add six hit points. 
I'm gonna. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna not gonna get anything here for now. And let's also let's see your medical supplies. <coughs> your consumables. Doc wagon. What? Doc wagon. Doc wagon. Platinum trauma kit. Replo restores a teammate with to life with 100% of their total health consumed when you. Like I said, the Doc Wagon kits are basically the equivalent of, like, Phoenix Down it's in Final Fantasy or whatever. Right. Like I said, the Doc Wagon is actually, like, in the game, is actually this uh, company that, like I said, they provide, like, emergency, on-the-spot, like, medical care to the gravely injured, popular with Shadowrunners for obvious reasons. <clears throat> 